Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Introduction to Quantitative Chemistry module. This is video number 11 and we're going to have a bit of an introduction to mole ratios. Mole ratios are quite possibly one of the most important things we need to look at when we are working on stoichiometry. So these coefficients that are outside of each of the substances in a chemical reaction can be used to help us look at the ratios of different um, components of those reactions. So I've got an example here. Uh, magnesium plus oxygen produces magnesium oxide. In order to balance the equation to have two magnesiums here, two oxygens here, I need the two out the front to make sure that I've got two of each on each side. The coefficients outside then become my mole ratios two. There isn't a number here, which means it's one. And again, this number here makes it two. So my mole ratios are two to one to two. So this is how I identify the mole ratios from the stoichiometric coefficients. You must balance the equation first. It's a critical step every time we are working with any chemical reaction because we can't really play successfully with the numbers until we've completed this first step. What happens with these mole ratios is they indicate the relative proportions of all of the chemicals that are present in the reaction, both reactants and products. So therefore, the first thing we have to do is make sure that we have balanced equations. And that's why this is such a critical step. In this case, we have sulfuric acid combining with sodium hydroxide. Now this is a nice classic example, uh, hydroxide. This is a nice classic example of an acid plus base reaction. And so we get water and a salt, one of our nice general equations. The water is water, obviously. The salt in this case is sodium sulfate. Now we must balance the equation and it's very important that we do. And when we do, we find that we have one mole of acid combines with two moles of our base in order to form two moles of water and one mole of the salt sodium sulfate. So our mole ratio is one to two to two to one. These are critical, these mole ratios, because we're going to be using them to actually use perform some calculations, both simple calculations in terms of straight ratios and then more complex ones where we convert those moles into things like mass, uh, concentration, uh, volume for gases and so on. So here's an example of the sort of thing that you might get. 0.375 moles of methanol is burnt in oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. How many moles of carbon dioxide are formed? The first step is always to write an equation. So let's do that. We're given the formula for methanol, so that makes life easy for us. We're assuming that it's probably going to be in liquid form. We're going to combine that with oxygen, which is a gas. And when that's combusted, we're going to form the products, which is carbon dioxide and water, CO2, which is gas, and H2O, which is a liquid. The next step is balance. And this is a critical step. We have to balance to make sure that this equation is balanced. Now, there's one carbon here and one carbon here, so I'm happy with that. There's three and one, which is four hydrogens here, but there's only two over here. So I'm going to put a two in front. So now I've got four. Now I've got um, two oxygens here and two oxygens here, but I've only got two here. So I need a two in front to give me two twos of four. And then two plus another two over here is four. So now my equation is balanced. So the third thing I have to do is look at the mole ratios. I keep this right underneath. The number here is one, the number here is two, the number here is one, and the number here is two. So here are my mole ratios, and I need to make sure that my moles stay exactly the same ratio all the way along. So now I look at my data. My data says 0 0.375 moles of methanol. Now if I double that, I will have 0 0.75 moles of oxygen. 
the ratio from here to here is one to one so therefore 0 0.375 moles of carbon dioxide and again a doubling over here is 0 0.75 moles of water so once I have one piece of data if I've got my mole ratios I can go through all of the others and as you can see the number of moles of carbon dioxide is 0 0.375 make sure you have lots of practice at these sorts of questions uh, and I'm sure you'll find them very easy to work through. Thanks for watching.